Okay, so Magic, I've been involved in that since 1994 and uh, King of Cards has been operating since 1997. So yeah, I've been doing this for just over 20 years. Uh, we normally try and run a half dozen tournaments a week or thereabouts. Uh, the busiest times tend to be on the weekends. Uh, Saturdays in particular is a big day for tournaments but also uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Uh, we like to create as relaxed an atmosphere as possible with the exception of allowing people to relax too much in terms of the way they behave around each other. You know, we like to keep things decent so that you know, parents can come in with their kids and things. Safe, friendly environment. Magic was a game that was invented in 1993 by a maths professor in America. Um, and this game involves summoning creatures, casting spells, and um, attacking with your creatures to beat your opponents. Okay, so in order to play magic, you have to begin by drawing seven cards. This is your opening hand. And you can play lands, um, and lands let you play creatures and spells. So let's start off by playing a land here. And then I begin my next turn by drawing a card. Then I pop another one down and I get to play a creature. And then after, okay, and then after every turn, at the beginning of every turn, you can play more spells. And then play other spells as well. It's very, very complex and you can play without knowing much about the game um, and you can enjoy it a lot but there's so much depth and there are so many cards over 10,000 and um, you can just delve into all of the different cards and create combinations and um, discover new cards and share cards with others and that makes the game forever evolving. Uh, cards are printed on a limited print run, so that means that once they stop printing, they uh, begin to gain value as they become rarer. And the most used cards are um, in high demand, and they stop being printed, so they go up and up and up. A lot of the time, people are willing to pay a lot of money for cards that are very good that have stopped being printed. It's one of the barriers for people getting into the game because it can be very expensive to make a competitive deck because a lot of people are trying to buy the cards that aren't printed anymore. It's difficult to gauge how many people play Magic in New Zealand. The Magic the Gathering community is something that's very difficult to quantify. Um, we know of hundreds to thousands of players, but there's also all of the people that play it casually. So those people, it's very, very difficult to quantify how many people there are sitting around their tables at home each night playing cards or sitting around at the various schools playing cards in their lunchtime. Um, my friends started playing it and they introduced it to me and it looked really fun so I just joined in. Um, I started an intermediate where my friend introduced me to it. It's very creative and it's, I'm not sure, it's just very fun and addictive and it's just sort of fun to beat my friends in games. So. <laughs> I enjoy the sense of community and how many people play it. It's really nice. Uh, yes, the magic community is still definitely growing, and um, yes, I do believe the game will still be popular, although the nature of its popularity may change in the next 10 years. 
Uh, the, as we spoke about before in terms of the various ways in which people play the game, um, it's likely there will be other new formats introduced, other new ways to play Magic the Gathering. So the game will still be around, it will still have a large player base, but how will people play it? Will it be more online activity? Will it be more casual play? Will it be a much heavier emphasis on tournament play? We just don't know what the future holds.